For decades, we've told a grand story, one that begins with a single, incomprehensibly dense point, erupting into existence and expanding to create everything we see today. Galaxies, stars, time itself. This is the Big Bang Theory, the foundation of modern cosmology. But what if it never happened? What if the universe did not begin with a cosmic explosion? What if space and time have always existed in one form or another? And if the Big Bang is wrong, how does that reshape our understanding of the cosmos, of physics and of reality itself? Would physics itself collapse? It's tempting to think that if the Big Bang were disproven, all of physics would come crashing down like a house of cards. But science has never been so fragile. Our understanding of the universe is built not on single ideas, but on centuries of observation, experiment, and discovery. If the Big Bang were found to be incorrect, it would not mean that everything we know is suddenly false. It would mean that our picture of the universe is incomplete. Just as Newton's classical physics gave way to Einstein's theory of relativity, which itself was expanded upon by quantum mechanics, science evolves. It adapts to new information, and sometimes it requires us to completely rethink the nature of reality. Why do some scientists question the Big Bang? Though widely accepted, the Big Bang theory has always had its problems, deep mysteries that it struggles to explain. One such problem is the singularity. If the universe truly began as a single point of infinite density, then our current laws of physics break down entirely. Infinity is not something nature handles well. It suggests that our equations are incomplete, that something fundamental is missing from our understanding. Then there's the horizon problem. The universe, as far as we can see, is astonishingly uniform. The cosmic microwave background, the faint glow left over from the early universe, is the same temperature everywhere. But, given the speed of light, there simply hasn't been enough time for all these distant regions to exchange energy and even out. It's as if you were to find a vast ocean, perfectly still, where waves should have been crashing chaotically for billions of years. And what of dark matter and dark energy? Together, these unknown forces account for over 95% of the universe. And yet we don't know what they are. We cannot see them, touch them, or even directly detect them. Could it be that we are missing something so fundamental that it would require us to rewrite the story of the cosmos? If not the Big Bang, then what? If the universe did not begin with a singular event, then how did it begin? Or did it have a beginning at all? Some theories suggest that the universe is part of an endless cycle. The Big Bounce hypothesis proposes that rather than emerging from nothing, the universe has been expanding and contracting in an eternal rhythm, collapsing, rebounding, and beginning again. If true, then there was no first moment, no singular explosion, just an infinite dance of cosmic destruction and rebirth. Others argue for a steady-state universe, in which matter is continuously created, allowing the cosmos to maintain roughly the same appearance over time. While this idea fell out of favor, Modern observations hint that the universe may not be as simple as we once thought. And then there are the more radical ideas, the suggestion that our reality is not quite what it seems. The holographic principle suggests that the universe we experience in three dimensions may actually be a projection of information stored on a lower dimensional surface. In this model, space itself may be an illusion, one that emerges from a deeper, more fundamental layer of reality. Or perhaps the ultimate question, are we living inside a simulation? Could everything we see, the stars, the galaxies, even the passage of time itself, be nothing more than a construct created by an intelligence far beyond our own? How would this change our understanding of reality? If the Big Bang were proven incorrect, it would force us to reconsider some of our most fundamental assumptions about time, space, and existence. Would time itself still have meaning? Or would we come to understand it as something fluid, something that loops and folds upon itself rather than flowing in one direction? What about space? If the universe has no beginning, then perhaps space has no true boundaries, no center, no edge, 
no ultimate destination. It would suggest that we are not moving toward a final state, but simply existing within an ever-changing cosmic web. And what of our place in the universe? If our reality is not what we once thought, then what else might be out there? Could intelligence emerge in ways we have yet to comprehend? Could life itself be woven into the very fabric of the cosmos, repeating endlessly across time and space? The Big Bang is the best explanation we have today. But science does not rest on certainty. It thrives on questions. If the universe did not begin with a singular explosion, then something even more extraordinary must have taken its place. And that is where the greatest discoveries lie. Could the universe be infinitely old? Could it be something we've yet to even imagine? Or have we only just begun to glimpse the truth of our existence? Let us venture further. Let us question, and let us embrace the mysteries that still await.